So Maddie turned this idea carefully over in her head. For if there were anything in it, she would not have to feel so badly. But that night she could not get to sleep. She thought about Wanda and her faded blue dress and the little house she had lived in. And she thought of glowing picture those hundred dresses made. All lined up in the classroom. At last, Maddie sat up in bed and pressed her forehead tight in her hands and really thought. This was the hardest thing she had ever done. After a long time, she reached an important conclusion. She was never going to stand by and say nothing again. So what decision, what conclusion did she make? Devita? I'm not getting. Okay, can you explain what's written? Okay, she was never going to stand by and say nothing again. What do you mean by this? She was, she was never going to stand by. Yes, Prabhun. Today, no one has come up in this class online. Hmm? No one is there. Okay. Uh, so, give me the names those who are there. Okay. So, Maddie turned this idea carefully over in her head. For it was, for if there were anything in it, she would not have to feel so bad. So, but that night she could not get to sleep. She thought about Wanda and her faded dress and all. So, all lined up in the, uh, in the classroom. At last, Maddie sat up in bed and pressed, pressed her forehead tight in her hands and really thought. This was the hardest thing she ever had done. After a long time, she reached an important conclusion that she was never going to stand by and say nothing again. So, what her conclusion was that she would not miss her words. She, it's what her mistake was. Usually, what we always conclude that we would not, we would not, that we would not. Come on. Usually, what happens with we people? We speak a lot. Usually, isn't it? We people always uh, like. Uh, usually, I'm saying with the children also. They say, "Ma'am, I was a, I just spoke by mistake." But here, her mistake was that she did not speak. So she decided that she will not mince her words, that she will not keep quiet. Right? She will not be just a standby. Okay? It's not that she will just accompany somebody for a wrong motive. She will speak up. Okay? Speak up for the right cause. That is what is required. And she decided this. So did Medi always want to do wrong to that girl? Did she ever want to do wrong to that girl? No, she never wanted that. Why didn't she want to do wrong to her? Option number one. She was very empathetic towards her. She was very sympathetic towards her. She was very bold. She was a coward. Give any one answer. She was empathetic towards that girl. She was sympathetic towards that girl. She was uh, very kind. No. She was a coward and she was a brave girl. Here are four options. Hai. Wait, wait, wait. Think, re think about the correct option. You'll have to explain that then. You people know that your uh, first board exam will be all of MCQs. And do you think the CBSC will give you very easy MCQs? No. Okay, MCQs will be such which would require some explanation of 100 words. But you won't have to write an answer in 100 words. But while choosing the MCQ, you'll have to think about the answer in about 100 words. Then your MCQ will be correct. 
so here i've given you four options that maddie never did anything wrong to that girl which girl bonda because she was empathetic she was sympathetic she was bold she was covered okay raise hand those who know you will be asked to explain okay this girl why how can you say this no okay do you all agree with her answer her explanation is not that correct you said that she could feel her pain she was not able to feel her pain she was able to feel her pain okay she was selfish okay there, there is a very minor difference in your answer otherwise option number is correct whatever the four options i gave out of them first option was the most correct one she was not bold she was not covered it's not that she was uh, what can we say Huh? Sympathetic, so not at all. Okay, so she was empathetic because she could feel her pain, but actually it was that it she could feel her pain with her pain. She could identify her pain with her problem. Okay, but if you say, can you tell me the second best option out of these four? Yes, Kushi. Yes, she was a coward. Hmm. yes very good so second best option is that she uh, we can say that this girl is a coward also that's why she could not speak anything against her friend okay she was worried that maybe she would also be bullied and moreover she knew that her friend was the most famous girl of the class and she didn't want to hurt her so these all things come under the category that she was a coward so one should speak at the right time okay one should speak about the right thing at the right time it's not that keep on speaking right thing at the right time okay so if she ever heard anyone picking on someone because they were funny looking or because they had strange names she would speak up this is what she has decided so if ever she saw anyone teasing somebody because of one's funny appearance or uh, because of strange names then she would speak up even if it meant losing peggy's friendship so she did not mind losing her friend like peggy she didn't mind that so she had no way of making things right with wanda she had no way of making things right with wanda but from now on she would never make anybody else that unhappy again so now there was no point of making uh, doing the things right with wanda because she had gone so now she won't be getting a chance to see the things getting right with wanda but she would make sure that in future she doesn't do this kind of thing with anyone else so now she has become now dash options are kind sympathetic empathetic bold come on bold now she has become bold because her decision has come up that she would uh, she won't mind losing her friendship with that uh, girl peggy okay so do these three questions tomorrow we might discuss them on saturday maddy spent the afternoon with peggy they were writing a letter to wanda petronsky it was just a friendly letter telling about the contest and telling wanda she had won they told her how pretty her drawings were i'll ask anyone to explain what i'm reading they told her how pretty her drawings were and they asked her if she liked what she was living and she liked her new teacher they had meant to say they were sorry but it ended up with their just writing a friendly letter the kind they would have written to any good friend and they signed it with lots of x's for love 
they mailed the letter to Vaughan Sides, writing, please forward on the envelope. So, this paragraph is about the letter these girls wrote to Wanda Petronsky. Now, the point is, okay, let us ask questions in MCQ form. So, the girls wrote the letter to Wanda Petronsky. It was a dash kind of letter, friendly kind of letter. Okay, can you give four options for this question, Kritika? Friendly, one word friendly, other three words. Hmm? No. Yes, any, what would be the best option for this MCQ? Huh? Bearing? No. Hmm? Uh, huh? Yes, apology. Yes, very good. The best option for this wrong option would be apology. They wanted to write an apology letter, but it turned out to be a friendly letter. They wanted to be sorry for what they had done. But did they mention it anywhere else? No. The whole letter they wrote in such tone as if they were talking to a very good friend. So it actually turned out to be a friendly letter. Why, why did it happen? They wanted to write apology, but it turned out to be a friendly letter. Why so? Can anyone tell me? One thing is sure that, that they did not do this intentionally. What's the, what, what is the correct sign of a good friendship? When you say like uh, we are friends, what are the characteristics you share that you are friends? You are comfortable with each other then? You are comfortable with your friends? There is no, uh, uh, you know, concept of uh, inferiority or superiority, right? Do you say sorry to your friend? Not seriously. Casually, you might say sorry for 100 times, but not seriously, right? So similarly here, these girls, you know, though they wanted to write an apology letter, but now by this time they had seen the worth of that girl. They had seen that she was a, uh, equally a valuable girl the way they were. So they actually had acquired that feeling for her, that, that feeling of friendship. So though they wanted to write sorry, they could not because that feeling of friendship was prevailing while they were writing the letter. So with friends, we don't, uh, uh, we don't term somebody as being inferior or superior. But yes, if, you're, if somebody with you is very high headed or something, then you're not comfortable. Then you might say sorry, you might feel inferior, but this was not so here. Okay, so the, now they had accepted her as a good friend. Okay, it's a very beautiful lesson. Days passed and there was no answer, but the letter did not come back. So maybe Wanda had received it. Perhaps she was so hurt and angry she was not going to answer. You could not blame her. So no answer came. And the author even uh, rules out the possibility that Wanda did not receive the letter. Wanda had received the letter also. How was, uh, what was the sign? Letter didn't come back. So she might have received, right? So she, she might have received even then she didn't answer. So why she might not have answered? Options are, she might be very angry with the girls. She might be. What could be the other option? She might be, oh, you tell me, what could be the option? The options you will give me, that would mean that you are, you know what, you are going to make the plot for the further part of the story. Because we, it, we are going to read it yet. But you can decide as to what might happen later on. If you have read the story, then no point of your telling me the answer. So the question is, 
like uh, what what was the question ha uh, why didn't she write uh, try, why didn't she reply the letter she was annoyed she was planning to come back ha huh? she was okay she didn't mind she was unaffected huh? i guess you want to say she was unaffected on knowing all these things unaffected annoyed planning to come back depressed depressed yeah she left the place went to all together a new place so there also she might be getting teased by other girl children so depressed so can you tick the correct option right now you cannot tick the correct option because you have not read the story and any of these things can happen it depends upon the writer what he has already given us and the writer can turn the story in any direction do you agree or not so you can also write stories okay so days passed and there was no answer this we have done weeks went by and still wanda did not answer peggy had begun to forget the whole business and maddy put herself to sleep at night making speeches about wanda defending her from great crowds of girls who were trying to tease her with so what happened so after some time after some weeks peggy forgot the whole thing okay then uh, that maddy you know uh, what she did she kept on making speeches on behalf of wanda am i right let's read it again so and maddy put herself to sleep at night making speeches about wanda so making speeches about wanda means like she would speak on behalf of wanda to defend her from other children who might tease her so what does it mean that now she was determined that she would defend wanda from others also okay Uh, how many dresses have you got and before wanda could press her lips together in a tight line the way she did before answering maddy would cry out stop then everybody would feel ashamed the way she used to feel got it so whenever somebody would ask her the questions which she used to ask then she would make those people become quiet now it was christmas time and there was snow on the ground christmas bells and small tree decorated the classroom on the last day of the school before the holidays the teacher showed the class a letter she had received that morning you remember wanda petrovsky the gifted little artist who won the drawing contest well she has written me and i'm glad to know where she lives because now i can send her medal i want to read her letter to you the class sat up with a sudden interest and listened intently what is intently very carefully with focus dear miss mason how are you and room 13 please tell the girls they can keep those 100 dresses because in my new house i have a 100 new ones all lined up in my closet I would like that girl Peggy to have the drawing of the green dress with the red trimming and her friend Maddie to have the blue one for Christmas. I miss that school and my new teacher does not equalize with you. Merry Christmas to you and everybody. Got it? Yes. so she says that i miss yours i miss the school old school and this new teacher is not as good as you were what it so on the way home from school maddy and peggy held their drawings very carefully so which drawings were these saket which drawings were they carrying and why were they carrying these drawings speak louder look at me stand properly yeah now tell me look at me see 
speak louder these drawings were the drawings of those dresses which she had painted earlier wonder now in the letter she had told her teacher to hand over or to gift the drawings to one to maddy and one to peggy so they were carrying those drawings which were of which were of wanda right so on the way um, they were holding them very carefully all the houses had wreaths and holly in the windows outside the grocery store hundreds of christmas trees were stacked and in the window candy peppermint peppermint sticks and uh, formal copies of shiny transparent paper were struck the air smelled like christmas and light shining everywhere reflected different colors on the snow so this is all about the decoration on the eve of christmas and all these things were shining brightly because of the shine of the snow as well boy said peggy this shows she really likes us boy said peggy this shows she really likes us it shows she got our letter and this is her way of saying that everything is all right and that's that i hope so said maddy sadly she felt sad because she knew she would never see the little tight lipped polish girl again and couldn't never couldn't ever really make things right between them so peggy she uh, was she happy peggy was happy because she thought like uh, uh, now that girl has also uh, is also normal with them but maddy was not very happy because she wanted to meet her once at least and to settle the things right right because she actually wanted to apologize she went home and she pinned her drawing over a torn place in the pink flowered wallpaper in the bedroom so this is the house of this maddy right the kind of house she, she has shows that she is popular she pinned her drawing over a torn place in the pink flowered wallpaper in the bedroom the shabby room came alive from the brilliancy of the colors what brilliancy of the colors painting drawing so the room became alive because of that drawing maddy sat down on her bed and looked at the drawing she had stood by and said nothing but wanda had not had been nice to her anyway tears blurred her eyes and she gazed for a long time at the picture then hastily she rubbed her eyes and studied it intently the colors in the dress were so vivid that she had scarcely noticed the face and head of the drawing now that girl maddy was looking in front of the painting she was like she had tears in her eyes she cleared her eyes uh, she rubbed her eyes and studied it what is it painting drawing and she read it very intently what is intently with focus uh the colors in the dress were so vivid what is vivid clear clearly visible bright the colors were so vivid uh that she had scarcely noticed the face and her head of the drawing the colors were so bright that this girl had never ever observed the face and head of the dress okay last one paragraph you do it on your own and do all the back exercises and everything by day after tomorrow okay 